Hey there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek, and it is November 30th, the end of NaNoWriMo. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, so there are still 16 hours left. Even though I did reach 50k last night, I'm still going to keep going because my other goal, well, I'm not likely to reach my goal of 60,000 words. I would like to reach my goal of finding the ending. Ironically, although I've been using the little notepad that looks like a chalk outline of a murder victim all month, mostly, for my little date marker, I haven't actually killed off any characters. I mean, not characters. I've killed off extras that never had names. I don't know if I can get through the uh, climax of this without killing any characters off, though, and that could get interesting because, like I said a few days ago, that's not really my gig. <laughs> so let's get to it. All right. Well, Brooks, Mandy Lynn's, and Natalia Lee's live stream right in just finished. I got a fair bit amount, a fair bit amount. Yeah, I can word mm -hmm, that this is the place I'm at now. Um, there will be no more writing tonight. I was going to go over to Jessica's write in on JLW Reads, but I'm I'm done. I clearly cannot think anymore <laughs> and my uh, tendonitis is acting up in my arm. I need to ice the heck out of it and do lots and lots of stretching. Final total is 52,000. Uh, click back over. 52,403. I did not find the ending. And at this point, I'm okay with that. Because the scene I was working on during the sprints that I thought was going to be the big climactic scene isn't. It has to take place in a whole different location. And I'm not entirely sure what it needs to look like anymore. But the characters have definitely decided that it needs to play out a little differently than I had in mind. So now I'm just going to put the story away, let it marinate, and come back to it in January. So that is it for NaNoWriMo. Kate Cavanaugh had asked if I was going to do anything with Advent Drabbles on here in December. I'm not sure if I am or not. I don't definitely not daily. I I, I can't keep up the daily vlogging or the semi daily vlogging. That that's too much to keep going with, and I have some other more time intensive uh, videos that I want to do. Like I, I actually, Chris, I have not forgotten the um, arrow wound video. Um, it's just taking me a little more time to put that together than I had intended, but it is coming and I, I do hope to have it in the next couple of weeks. But because I want to do some more things like that, I, I can't keep up the daily vlogging. So I may do a little bit with something or other around whether it's Advent Drabbles or whatever, just writing generally. But for right now, what I am going to do is check out prompt number one. They tend to put up the prompt for the next day sometime in the evening. I want to say it's around 6 p.m. my time. So that you can start thinking about it for the next day. So I have very virtuously not looked at it until after I decided Nano was done. 
because once I start processing this prompt and what I'm going to do with it, that's going to be a complete gear shift and nothing was going to happen with this story once I did that. So now it's time to do that. Let's take a look. I apologize that I'm doing this with my phone, but my as I mentioned yesterday, I'm having memory space issues, so I don't dare use my screen capture software. So I will link to the Advent Rebels uh, Dream With blog below. This is what the first entry looks like. So we have this Advent calendar in the form of a little tree. And day one is the only one sparkling because that's the only prompt we've got so far. And let's click through and see what prompt number one is. Or, you know, n not if it's going to take its sweet time. Okay, okay. That's... I have zero idea what I am going to do with that. This should be interesting. On that note, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.